now you got to really be on your toes to see who's going to advance and who's not going to because it's just the talent pool is so rich. Yeah, for real. And we've seen Ally and Leo team before. They're no Ally strangers Leo. to uh, teaming together. And their synergy is unbelievable. I mean, individually, these two are both such strong doubles competitors. And together, they are just so clean and... I mean, they, they win, and oh, win, yeah. and win, and win. They're one of, probably one of the better static teams that are out there now. Um, For sure. It's just one of those things where it's just two personalities that are clicking on a very close level. So they know each other inside and out. They know the game. They are both masters at their respective characters. So it all just leads into one big package that works. Mm -hmm. like, it just works. Uh, Ally and Leo sitting down. But the Japanese team, definitely nothing to sleep on. So this is going to be Sue and Ken. These two players, I mean, I, I'm not keen on doubles in Japan, but I think they might have teamed a couple of times at some events. I, uh, not entirely uh, sure. Yeah, I'm complete. I, I have no idea. I, I don't know. <laughs> but I, I've never seen these two teams before, but... Uh, Again, this is, I believe, Sue's first time in the States, and Ken doesn't come here to the States too often, so uh, I may just be a little ignorant of how uh, j doubles goes in Japan. Um, hey, that's one thing that's interesting about fighting um, teams from other countries, is just like the disconnect that you, we, like, um, teams that are from like US or North America, they practice doubles differently than say like Europe or Japan. So now you get to kind of see the differences in style, like just the subtle differences in styles from one country to the other. So that's that's really interesting. Yeah, and we we have seen um, Goma from Japan, uh, who also plays Lucario in doubles. He is incredibly strong with his partner Taheda, of course. Uh, Tsu, obviously a bit of a different player, plays pretty differently from Goma, but... And can we uh, talk still about the team an composition here? This is going to be uh, Ally Leo going Mario and uh, Cloud versus Sonic and Lucario, which is, I think, a very interesting team composition because on so Sonic Lucario, you have kind of the zone-breaking aggression and, you know, the pressure that Sonic offers with the kill power of Lucario, like that, that alone just, I'm thinking that it's gonna create some setups that are gonna cause Ally and Leo a bit of a problem if they don't keep like the team separated. Okay, and right now, uh, it's always hard to call. Oh, actually, this might be a button check. Uh, no, 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 okay. no, 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 I don't, I don't like know playing. why I thought that. It was just like nobody was hitting each other. So it, <laughs> it, it's. I, I got confused for a second because it's like I nobody's mean, with, taking any damage. With, that, with how high level these players are, it's sometimes, you know, I don't blame you. Sometimes it does look like that. <laughs> they are just so good at avoiding situations like that that it just look. Oh, they're just button check. Oh no, this is an actual match. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, my mistake. But uh, so far, Ken's kind of been playing a keep away game, not oh, going yeah. in for a whole lot of damage, opting instead to let um, instead let uh, Sue just rack up the damage for him. So Sue's been playing the aggressor, which is interesting because usually in singles, Lucario doesn't really play the aggressor until he gets some damage on him. And so far, it's been working out a lot. They got the percent lead, and they've been keeping control of the stage for the most part. And haven't gotten the opportunity to get any sort of big team combos, but they've been just getting this small little bits of damage from these you know, team fights. Oh, my gosh. The forward smash. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Sue has not actually managed to take enough damage to kill with that forward smash yet. Yeah, that, I mean, that's the surprising thing. I thought, I was thinking that Ken would have been the aggressor and Sue would be the one to, like, rack up the damage and be the tank until he gets at a high enough percent to where he can start taking stocks. But yeah. no, instead, it's kind of the uh, the other way around. Like, you see Ken hanging back by ledge and not really go. Oh, oh no! Good catch from Leo. <laughs> and well, now, now Ken has to go in and help his teammate. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a big deal. Uh, every time Lucario resets a stock, he becomes a lot weaker. So, getting those stocks off Lucario is very important. Although, uh, 
share stock is always always present as long as uh, as long as Ken can hold on to his stocks and that appears to be the strategy. Yeah, Ken is going to be hanging back and being the tank, but out of I mean, Sonic has the ability to hang back and camp and just act as a stock tank. But at the same time, you know, he's got to be careful about being too far away from his partner because if he starts getting double teamed, then he needs to go in and help his partner fast because that's one thing that, you know, if it gets down to it, 2v1, it's Ally and Leo, and they are masters at the 2v1, so they... Oh, oh my, my god, god Ally! Was, yeah, that was the weirdest cape <laughs> I think I've ever seen. I thought that Ken, I thought that Sue wasn't in the up B animation. I like... I thought he that looked like he caped him but before he still, even pressed up. It still LP. turns you around. That's that's just one of those like okay, I just caught you sleeping there. Uh, I don't know what Leo was trying to do there. I think uh, he might have just lost his jump. Maybe, but I feel like he could have made it back to the ledge if he just drifted. That that may have just been a mistake. <laughs> All right, now you're kind of seeing the uh, plate. Uh, the game plan change up a little bit between these two. You notice that uh, Ken and Sue, they're not really sticking together. Instead, they're trying to separate Ally and Leo. Not really going for a big team fight, but rather just pocket 1v1s. And it's been working. They've been getting some solid damage. And con not only that, it's been consistent damage. And that hasn't been giving Ally and Leo enough time to kind of coop, recoup together and get something started on, like, you know, getting some doubles pressure going. Like, it's just been man versus man. All right, up air. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh, the double kill. And now, and now this is going to be himself. a very tricky situation because it's Lucario with Rage and Sonic on a fresh stock. Yeah, even if Leo uh, manages to take out Sue, I don't know if uh, I don't know if he can take out Ken's full stock with the percent he's at right now. And right there, no limit. I think Leo is done. Yeah, yeah, he didn't have a jump. There was no way he was coming back from that. So Sue and Ken, that was a really good showing. So, like the the sh the strategy that they had, where Lucario was the aggressor, that actually worked out really well because, like I said, Sonic has a speed where he can just like keep running and make it really hard to take the socks off of Sonic. Yes. So, with Lucario as the aggressor, well, that means that I'm just getting damaged faster. Mm -hmm. Of and, course. And Sue, he didn't really even need much of Aura. He was getting a lot of really good damage output just from strings off of, you know, random t uh, team exchanges and even just some flubs on Ally and Leo's part. Yeah, of course. Uh, we saw a, a big shift in the, the stock count uh, near the end of that game there where Leo has deed, but that, that's just how it goes sometimes. Yep. Going to Town City, I definitely like this pick. It gives um, it gives Ally and Leo the space to kind of, I guess, defuse this plan because uh, yeah, Ken can has more space to run, but on that same venture, that means that now Ally and Leo have a lot more space to kind of think about what their next plan is and like what their next move is, as opposed to being on Smashville or um, a smaller stage where that's a lot harder to do. That and also they're now starting to get the double team game going. And as you can see, they're, they're actually just like going hard right now on Sue. He's taking 114 damage. Yeah, and you see that a lot with these Lucario teams. Uh, Lucario often becomes the target, try to take out uh, his stocks as fast as possible to keep that aura at bay. But uh, that may backfire right now as Sue has an insane amount of aura, but Leo does close it out. So good on him. Yeah, that was a good call out of Smash. Acknowledge that he was just trying to get something going with that the percent that he was at. And you notice now Leo is actually starting to shift his attention because you saw that uh, Sue was up on the platform, but instead of opting to throw out an up air as to catch his getup, he was going over to cover uh, Ally who was approaching Ken. Yeah. Like I said, it's the adjustment that they're making. They're starting to get more double team going, and that cross slash is going to take out Ken's stock. So now they are up a two, full two stocks, and Leo is still going. That was a really nice conversion there. That up oh, we're gonna see and another again. one. <laughs> Yo, DJ Khaled, another one. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when you take out that part, like sometimes you'll just see those consecutive kills and doubles where you take out uh, one opponent and the other one's just stuck. They can't really do much against two people, so you get those consecutive kills. Yeah, it's just the nature of team fights where if you find yourself in that situation where you need to break out of 
being ganked on by two people, it's really hard to break out of, especially two players like Ally and Leo, who just have such great punish games. And now Leo's starting to catch both Sue and Ken in the air a lot more. And I noticed that Ally's kind of adjusting his play style so that they can catch him back oh on the ground. Gosh. The two for one. <laughs> and Ally was trying to end it all <laughs> he right wanted, there. Ally wanted that forward air spike so hard. Like, you could tell he was in the right position for it and everything. And, like, after it landed, you just, like, gave a little bit of a head shake. Just, oh, well, you know what? Next time. <laughs> it was always next time. Like, right there. <laughs> yep. So this is a flip of the narrative right now uh, as opposed to the first game. <laughs> you see how Lucario crouched uh, <laughs> so that up smash missed? We tried to cover that get up with down smash. That was a nice try, but just not going to come through with it. So yeah. now the stocks are back to even. Red team has the percent lead, so they've got time to get a good act together to seal this out. But they also got to watch out because Ken now is starting to come back into play. The Sonic is starting to run in and break up action. Yeah, we see Ken trying to save uh, save Sue from Alice throws there, knowing Leo is ready for that follow-up. They know that taking out Sue is their win condition, and uh, he was able to avoid it at first, but eventually they do get that. So now we've got a 2v1 between Ally and Leo and Ken. You can see their, their, their coverage is so good. They like That's the one thing that a lot of teams do on Town & City. One player up on the top platform, other on the bottom of the stage. So that way, if they do anything, they got it covered. Leo <laughs> tried with that. That was that was a good try. Like that would have been that would have been sick if it landed. For sure. And just th that goes into their mentality of just option coverage, especially in the two v one in a situation like Town and City, where you have that capability to just cover everything. That definitely helped Ally and Leo out as they take game two. Good stuff. Now we gotta wonder, you know, what Sue and Ken are gonna do in terms of their stage pick to counteract this. Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I I'm not gonna try to guess where they're going. I have no idea. But okay, FD. FD's this makes sense. FD's a good pick. Takes away, you know, you get you it allows Cloud to juggle a lot more and also Mario has a lot better time just kind of keeping space on a flat ground. Also gives Sonic the uh, room to just kind of run around freely, so. Yes. And now uh, Ally and Leo kind of in control, but yeah, yeah, because, I mean, even though percents are pretty close, Ally and Leo uh, have kind of been controlling the stage, but now Ken and Sue taking it back. And stage control is so fleeting in doubles, like. Yeah, one, at one, like one team can have it, the other team can't, and then it just shifts it, it constantly. It shifts back and forth, yeah. It's hard to keep track of, especially in like such a high level dubs match like this. And once again, you're, they're going back to the old uh, strategy that they've been rocking with for this basically this entire set. But now the adjustment that's being made, Ken is now starting to act as the pressure breaker. Anytime that Sue has been on the end of a double team from Ally and Leo, he's going in with a dash attack or just dash up jab, dash up anything just Ooh. to break the action. That was a really dangerous read from, uh, from Leo. He had that too. Back throw into finishing wow. touch. That's not going to kill quite yet. Not quite at the high enough Ooh. percent. That force palm was really clutch. Yeah, he landed that first hit dare to force palm that's so deadly from Lucario. Yeah, and now Sue's got to be careful because any anytime he jumps, now he's, you know, he has the threat of either character's up smash. <laughs> Ken just went on. Yeah, Ken, Ken is stalling for uh, for Sue to come back. He doesn't want to lose his stock. And that, that's a, another advantage that Sonic has is that his recovery is so good, he can go under most stages and just act oh as a stall. Gosh. Right now, Red Team, he's just they've been just cooking so far. Just sticking to double teams and pressure and not getting a whole lot started for Ken and Sue. Yeah, these conversions uh, off of Ally's throws are really uh, really paying off for them. Leo just never missing a beat with these with these conversions. Yeah, Leo's punish game has been really good and Ally has been feeding into it, which has been resulting in a lot of lit, like, stocks like that and conversions where all you really need to do is just get the grab and the character is just dead. Yeah. And 
Another thing that's been happening is there's been a lot of uh, team exchanges from uh, Sue and Ken's part where just like, a lot of accidental friendly fire, which has kind of been a detriment at this point. Like, right now, Leo has still not lost his stock. Ally on one last stock, but in terms of percentages, this is still fairly even. And stock count, it could be even very soon if they land a back throw or a back, uh, any sort of grab into a combo. Oh my god. <laughs> MK Leo is so good, guys. Yeah, Ally <laughs> Did you had, see that? Ally had Sue preoccupied. Oh my <laughs> gosh, again. He just, he just sent Sue to the he sky. He got out of there real quick. Yeah. He was on that Drake 0 to 100 real quick. <laughs> that was. That just looked so great. That was goofy. And now this is, this is the rough part when you're just getting double teamed like this. Yeah, Ally and Leo. Absolutely. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you well, capitalize like that, I was gonna so say now he's got to take a stock. They are unbelievably good at these 2v1 situations, but kind of eat my words there. Yeah, and Ken's holding his own. Got to be careful. Okay, makes it back. That's, that, that's going to be it. Lights out. And MK, Leo, and Ally moving on over Sue and Ken. That was a good set. That, that was, like, a really good set to kick off doubles. Like Yeah, for real. All the... All the Trixies that uh, Ken and Sue had, like, 